right, so today I'm gonna to take you on a journey of what I think are the most important and free software programs for your computer. And this is not a sponsored video. In matter of fact, I use all these programs on a daily or weekly basis. And I've broken this list down into three categories. First is productivity and recovery programs. Second is computer hardware monitoring. And third is video and audio programs. And lastly, I'll have some additional bonus programs as well. So let's get started. Okay, the first free program is Power Toys, which is one of my favorites. Microsoft Power Toys is a collection of free open source utilities designed to enhance the Windows user experience and boost productivity. So how does Power Toys actually work? Well, let me explain. This free program offers a variety of tools to customize and streamline tasks. This includes features like Fancy Zones that allows full customization of all your windows. And I use Fancy Zones on a daily basis. And that's because I have a super ultra wide monitor that can allow for multiple windows or Fancy Zones. If you have a wide monitor or a super ultra wide monitor, then Fancy Zones is a must. And I'm currently using the Power Toys tool, Mouse Highlighter. It's fantastic for instructional videos like this one. There's also Image Resizer. Image Resizer is a tool for bulk image resizing. Image Resizer allows you to resize images by dragging and dropping your selected files with the right mouse button. This allows resized pictures to quickly be saved in a folder. And there are a plethora of tools, including Power Rename, Keyboard Manager, Color Picker, and a whole bunch more. I originally downloaded Power Toys just for the fancy zones, but then I quickly fell in love with all the other tools. If there's only one program on this list that you're gonna download, then it should be Power Toys. It's totally free and easy to install. All right, the next free program is Recuva. This free program is one of my personal favorites. Recuva is a free file recovery program for Windows that helps recover deleted files from various storage devices. This includes hard drives, USB drives, and even memory cards. And I recently used Recuva to restore deleted files off a memory card. And to my surprise, it was quick and easy. Simply launch the program, choose a specific hard drive or hard drives, and then let Recuva scan the drives. And then find your deleted file and hit recover. It's that easy. And this program can recover a wide range of files from videos, pictures, documents, and yes, even emails. Recuva might be the most important program on this list because you never know when you're gonna need it. So go ahead and download Recuva now. And when that time comes, when you accidentally delete a file, you'll be able to restore that file with no problem. Recuva is one of my favorite programs I wish I never needed. And the program file size is around 25 megabytes. Very tiny. Okay, the next free program is Revo Uninstaller. Revo Uninstaller is a Windows software uninstaller that goes beyond the standard Windows uninstaller by removing leftover files and registry entries that a standard program might not remove completely. This free program offers a more thorough cleaning process and even includes features like Hunter Mode for uninstalling programs without the standard uninstall entry or file, which is very convenient. Revo Uninstaller also identifies and removes leftover data, preventing clutter and potential issues on your system. Hands down, this is the best uninstaller program I have ever used. Now let's get to the free PC hardware monitoring programs. So do you want to track your PC's health? Then you need CPUID HW Monitor. HW Monitor is a free software utility that monitors various hardware parameters in your computer system, including CPU, GPU, RAM, and hard drives. It provides real-time data on temperatures, voltage, fan speed, and other key metrics, including CPU, GPU, RAM, and hard drives. And this program can help track the health of your PC's components and help identify potential issues like overheating and instability. Okay guys and gals, the next free program is Cinebench R23. This free program is most often used to benchmark CPU and GPU performance. It's primarily used in 3D rendering workloads. Cinebench R23 is used to evaluate system capabilities and for reviewing hardware. 
Cinebench is also used to test system stability and measure the impact of overclocking on performance. And the file size for this program is under 700 megabytes. Next on the list is OCBase OCCT. This is a free software tool primarily used for stability testing and stress testing of computer components like the CPU, memory, GPU, or power supply. It helps identify potential issues like hardware instability, overheating, or incorrect voltage settings, and can also be used to compare the performance of different systems. This free software offers a variety of stress tests, including CPU and RAM tests, 3D adaptive tests, and VRAM tests which allows for a thorough evaluation of system stability. It also serves as a benchmarking and monitoring tool. Pretty cool. And the file size is under 100 megabytes. The next free software on this list is one of my favorites. It's Fan Control. This free program allows for total fan control and total fan monitoring. And this includes the CPU, GPU, and all the case fans. And this even allows the user to control the fan speeds based on the temperatures. Very cool. And best of all, this software helps maintain optimal cooling while reducing fan noise. And this software has loads of customizations available for fine tuning all your fans. And make sure to check out the YouTube channel, RM Software. His videos will show you how to set it all up. Hands down, this is the best fan control software I have ever used. And this amazing fan control software is completely free. Although the creator of this software does take donations. It's easy to install and even easier to use. Now it's time to get to the fun part, the free video and audio programs. First on this list is DaVinci Resolve, my favorite program, hands down. And matter of fact, DaVinci Resolve is what I use to edit all my videos, including this one. This free program is a powerful and versatile tool used both by professionals and hobbyists. And I've used this program for over six years and it's incredible. This software is easy to use, has tons of visual effects, it has a short learning curve, and there is tons of content on YouTube on how to use this software. And this program is always being updated to become better and better. All right, the next free program on this list is VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player is primarily used for playing back various video and audio formats, including formats that are not supported by other players. VLC supports container formats like AVI, MP4, AKV, ZZY, and ABC. Scene one, Apple take two. VLC supports container formats like AVI, MP4, MKV, and WAV, as well as audio formats like MP3, AAC, and FLAC, FLAC. It also offers features like converting media files, streaming media, and playing DVDs. File size for this program is under 43 megabytes. All right, the next free software on this list is GIMP 2.0, and not the GIMP from Pulp Fiction. GIMP 2.0 is primarily used for photo editing, graphic design, and creating digital art. GIMP 2.0 is a versatile tool for a wide range of image manipulation tasks, including creating icons, user interface elements, and even Minecraft texture packs. Pretty cool. This free software also excels at tasks like removing red eye, sharpening images, and applying various image effects. Okay guys and gals, the next free software on this list is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is primarily used for screen capture, video recording, live streaming, and visual mixing. This free software offers a wide range of features for both professionals and hobbyists. And if you're a YouTuber or a live streamer, then this is a must-have tool. This software allows capturing and mixing of multiple audio and video sources and streaming to various platforms like Twitch and YouTube. And file size for this program is around 400 megabytes. All right, guys and gals, the next free software on this list is Plex Media Server. Plex Media Server is a very user-friendly software that looks a lot like your own personal Netflix. If you have a lot of digital media on your computer, like movies and TV shows, then Plex is a great way to watch those videos. Plex will organize all those videos in a beautiful format. And best of all, Plex works with all your TVs, laptops, tablets, and phones. And this software is completely free. However, there are paid versions. And these paid versions allow you to watch the Plex server outside of your network. And the free version does not offer this. However, you could install Jellyfin as well 
if you like watching movies or TV shows outside of your network. And Jellyfin is completely free as well. As a matter of fact, I recommend running Plex and Jellyfin at the same time. It's really the best option and you get the best of both worlds. Okay guys and gals, the next free program is Handbrake. Handbrake is a free open source video transcoder that allows you to convert files from one format to another, often for smaller file sizes or compatibility with different devices, which means some formats work better with different devices. And Handbrake helps fix this issue. Handbrake is also useful for ripping DVDs and Blu-rays although it does not circumvent copyright protection. If your main goal is to copy a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs to your computer, then use Dumbo Fab DVD Ripper instead. And this software is completely free. This software does circumvent the copyright protection. And the user interface is very easy to navigate and looks beautiful. Now I have a few bonus programs I want to show you. Alright, the first bonus program is ASSSD Benchmark. And this software will benchmark all of your SSDs both the read and the write times. It's great software, easy to use, and completely free. The second bonus software is Audacity. Open source Audacity can record and edit audio files on more tracks than you can imagine, and is perfect for noobs and professionals. And Audacity is free and works on any OS. And that's it guys and gals, that's the whole host of free software you should use for your computer. Let me know in the comments what you think, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's completely free. Thanks. High five. Peace.